Hi, I'm Ray Scott, and thanks for dropping by Visual Art Photography. On today's show, we're going to be looking at something a little bit different, and it's known as Threshold. Now, when I was growing up, uh, I used to look back at old magazines and old, I guess you'd call them pulp fiction novels, and on the covers often were what would be termed now, I suppose, as Threshold uh, kind of images, or pop art graphic design, graphic art, that sort of thing. And what they were uh, was they were black and white images. And I'm not talking about shades of gray. We're just talking about black and white. And often they also had uh, a colored background. So we're going to take a look at that today. Now, see the image up there right now? That's of the Rockefeller Center in uh, New York. And it's in black and white. And then the one you're looking at right now, this has been treated with a bit of color. So I'm going to show you how to use the threshold tool in Photoshop. And we're also going to take a look at a few tricks that we can use to make the images the way we want them and also to add a little bit of color. Your always important comments and questions can be addressed down below. Let's get into it. So first off, quickly I'm going to show you a few images just to give you an idea of what you can do with the threshold setting and a few other little things. And then we're going to work on a couple of images uh, that will get you there. All right, so the first one, I've just called it Night in the City. You can see where it's kind of that pop art thing and you could almost use this on, uh, not a book cover necessarily, but it's almost like a poster sort of thing. So that's what I was trying to achieve there. And I then used blue, a fill layer of blue, to give it that night feel. Now this is straight up threshold, no coloration. It is strictly black and white. There are no tones of gray here, although sometimes it, it may look like there's a tone of gray. Like in here, you may look here and say, oh, there's gray, but it's not. It's actually black and white. This one, an abandoned warehouse, threshold again, but I've used yellow to give it that sort of hot summer baked feeling. Strictly your own interpretation, what you wish to do. Another straight up threshold, black and white. Again, black and white. And of course you can also crop or do things like this and, and bring it into, bring the staircase closer or maybe the stairs. You can make it uh, what you want, bring out the, the brick, that sort of thing. Totally up to you, matter of choice. And here's something else with a different color in it. All right, now let's get to work on a couple of images. So remember the first image I showed you, which was the one with the night in the city. Well, this is the image that it came from. So first thing up that I do is I create a duplicate layer because I don't want to work on the background layer. And you're going to find out why later on why I want to do a duplicate layer. So you hit uh, command J or control J on your keyboard and you duplicate the layer. And there it is over there on the right hand side. Now you go down to the bottom here and you click on the adjustment layer icon. And you have all these choices. You see down here it says threshold. Click on threshold. Now it turns it to that black and white image. You haven't done anything to the layer itself. This is just an adjustment layer. You come up here and you can adjust it lighter, more white, or more dark. And for our purposes, um, I think we want it to be something like that. That's my preference for this. Now, I should you should note that in this particular image, I am not going to be doing anything with that duplicate layer that I made, but I will in the next image. So it's just good practice for me. I make a duplicate layer right away when I'm working with the threshold uh, slider. All right. Now you recall, I wanted it to make it something that resembled night, that feel. So I wanted blue in it. So go down to the bottom of the panel again and create a brand new layer by clicking on this icon here. And now it's a, just a transparent layer. There's nothing there. Then you come up here and you can go edit, fill, 
and you can fill the layer with color. So what I want to do is double click on color and the picker comes up and then I'll click over here and I'll look at all these different shades of blue that I can use, but I think I want something around there, but that's a bit dark. So I'll lighten it up to something like that. That looks like it might be about right. Click OK and then click OK here. And now the layer goes blue. Now you're saying, I can't see anything except blue. What happened to the city? Well, that's where you go over to the, over here to the right hand side again, into your blend modes. And right now it's at normal, which is why you can't see through it and click on the blend modes and try multiply. And the city comes through. Okay. So that's how you can add color to your threshold, which is what I wanted to do for this particular one. I don't always, but this one I did. And then later on, you can use the type tool and you can write anything you want. If you want to write anything at all. Okay. Let's try the second image. Here it is here with the uh, abandoned warehouses. So again, I'm going to duplicate the layer command J and we'll add that threshold layer. Now what we're going to do here, the adjustment layer, go down to the bottom again, click on that icon threshold and it turns it completely black and white. So let's work on it. Now this is a little bit different. This is why I created the duplicate layer. You're going to find out in a moment. Let's go to the left and brighten this up a little bit. Okay. So we're brightening it up. We're brightening it up and the buildings look pretty good, but look at the sky. You've got all that black. And for my purposes here, I don't want that. I don't want all the black. So this is why I created the duplicate layer because I'm going to come over here to that layer one, the duplicate layer, and I'm going to go over to the left, to the toolbar over on the left hand side and press on this. And it says, see that it says dodge tool and burn tool. Well, dodging lightens things and burning darkens things. So let's pick the dodge tool and you see up at the top here, it's set to 50% exposure or opacity. If you want, let's just set it to hundred percent and you can decide what size you want. I think we'll go with something rather large and let's see what happens. Look, let me get rid of the dark because I just want this to be white. Okay. And you just work on that. Maybe reduce the size just a little bit if you want over here. Okay. Try not to eat too much into the building. And so we're going to work on that. So I'm going to work on that. And for purposes of this tutorial, I don't want it to be too long. So we'll just speed along. And then uh, once I've dodged all this out, I'll show you something else. Okay. So we've dodged all of the black out of the sky, but it bled into the building a little bit over here. And I, I don't like that. I want the building to be, uh, have some definition. So we go back over to the toolbar on the left hand side, press on it and you'll see the burn tool that darkens. So press on the burn tool and I want to build it in, but not at 100%. So let's just go to something like whatever, 39%, make the brush a little smaller and then just bring some of that building back. See that just a little bit, just bring it back a little bit there. There's the line. Okay. Work over here a little bit. Actually, I want to lighten this up over here a little bit. So we'll go back and we'll go to the dodge tool and just lighten that up a little bit there. There you go. Look at that. And of course, as always with any of your photography in any of your work, it's to taste. It's the way you want it to be. There's no right or wrong. So now you have that. Okay. I could get really picky here and, uh, just make the brush really, really small and come down here and just try to get rid of that little bit. There you go. There you go. Just perfect. Okay. Now we wanted to make it sun baked and hot and abandoned. And I think yellow really works well with that. So we'll go down and make a, a brand new layer, a blank layer, and we'll fill it with color. Double click on color. Here comes the picker. 
bring your slider down into the yellow area. And I, I kind of want it to be yellowy, almost a bit coffee, not too, uh, like that. Something in there. Something that's a little bit, oh, desolate, <laughs> for no better word. I don't know. And let's press on that and on that and see what happens. Okay. Now, remember, we have to go to the blend modes and go from normal to multiply to get the effect we want. And there it is. Okay. There it is. Now, for some reason, let's say the color was close, but it's not exactly what you wanted. You can go back, make sure your layer is active, your fill layer is active, and then go back to edit fill. Okay. Let's do it. Edit fill. Double click. Now you see that's where you were at. And now take that and let's say we just want to make it just for argument's sake, something like that. Okay. I don't think we really want to, but let's just say we do. That's your old color here and or your existing color. And this is the new color that you're putting in. Click OK, click OK, and it comes in. Actually, that's not bad. So there you have it. You have your threshold if you want to leave it strictly black and white or maybe you want to add a little bit of color to it and there you have it and it's that simple really and lots of fun you can go straight black and white you can add color you can add text it's endless the possibilities it's up to you and and what final product you're looking for give it a try until next time i'm ray scott reminding you it's not what you see it's how you see it, and I'll see you soon.